So what are the possible mechanisms for evolution? What could have caused evolution to have happened? Acquired characteristics couldn't be the mechanism because they aren't inherited by the offspring. Genetic recombination won't do it because it is limited to the genetic information that exists within that species. So what other alternative is there? Well, there is one last possibility. The last great hope for the evolutionists. Genetic mutations. But what is a genetic mutation? The best description is that it is a change in the genetic information in the cells of an organism, which is then passed on to daughter cells formed from those with modified DNA. Every plant and living organism is made up of one or more cells. Without the cell, there is no life. At the time of Darwin and Haeckel, the scientific community didn't place much importance on the cell. Today, cytology, the study of cells, has become extremely important to scientists. An adult human male is made up of around 75 trillion cells of many types, each one with its special functions. This slide shows relative sizes of various kinds of cells, including a paramecium, an amoeba, plant cell, bacteria, blood cells, nerve, and muscle cells. But what is really interesting is that each cell contains all of the genetic information for that organism in its DNA. This information not only defines what kind of organism it is, but also all of its specific characteristics. Just 50 years ago, scientists first discovered that this genetic information is written on a huge molecule called DNA. In DNA, Kenyon encountered a molecule with a property he could not explain through natural processes. For locked securely within its double helix structure is a wealth of information in the form of precisely sequenced chemicals that scientists represent with the letters A, C, T, and G. In a written language, information is communicated by a precise arrangement of letters. In the same way, the instructions necessary to assemble amino acids into proteins are conveyed by the sequences of chemicals arranged along the spine of the DNA. This chemical code has been called the language of life, and it is the most densely packed and elaborately detailed assembly of information in the known universe. This fascinating clip from the Illustra Media film Unlocking the Mystery of Life shows how all the genetic information that defines the characteristics of a living organism is written in the form of code using four chemical letters of adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine that are read in order to duplicate the cell or to form all of the proteins that will do all the work of the cell. The perfect sequence of these letters is what defines the characteristics of any living organism in the same way that printed letters in the correct sequence form intelligible words that transmit meaning or, when out of order, are useless for transmitting information. A mutation scrambles or deletes the correct sequence of the genetic information. Imagine a description of the basic steps for building a house. If the order was mixed, would it still be possible to follow them and successfully build the house? Or, 
if the letters in each instruction were scrambled? Would it bring progress to the project or complete confusion? This is what mutations do. Scientists know that scrambling or damaging the genetic information in the DNA of an organism results in all sorts of deficiencies, illness, and death, not X-Men. In many cases, the cell eliminates erroneous DNA, but when the damage is too great or when the genes from both parents have the same mistake, the result is a mutation, a mistake in the genetic copy. So is this the much desired mechanism that evolutionists are seeking? Scientists have observed three primary results of genetic mutations. In many cases, the mutation produces no obvious change, since, for example, a human zygote receives 23 chromosomes from its mother and 23 from its father, or two genes for each characteristic. Normally, the new organism automatically builds its DNA from undamaged genes and rejects the mutant information. A second common result of mutations is sterility. The only problem here is that evolution needs the reproduction of the mutated DNA in order to work, so this result won't help evolution either. But the third result of mutations brings disastrous consequences to the organism, including deformities, illness, or death. Mysteriously, in spite of the ambitious attempts by many evolutionists to provide evolutionary progress by means of mutations, as of yet, there is no evidence of any case where they have increased the genetic information of any species by this method. If scientists can't succeed in making even a small increase in the genetic code with their lavish laboratories and great knowledge, how could it possibly have happened by chance in the hostile primitive world billions of times over in order to produce all of the species of life on Earth today? not to mention the species which have already gone extinct. There are two types of mutations that can happen in a living organism, somatic and gametic. The somatic mutation affects the host organism but is not transmitted to its offspring. Skin cancer or cancers caused by radiation in general are of this type. Another example would be children born with a deficiency or abnormality caused by the mother using a dangerous drug during pregnancy. But this type of mutation is not passed on to one's offspring and therefore is not the mechanism that evolution needs. But the second type of mutation is passed on to one's descendants and therefore, theoretically, could be useful for evolution. Gametic mutations are called that because the mutation happens to the gametes, the reproductive cells used in forming a new organism. In humans, it would be damage to the DNA of the egg or sperm cells, or both. In this case, the new organism conceived from this union receives altered DNA right from the get-go. In other words, right from the zygote, the very first cell. So when cell division happens, the erroneous DNA information is passed on to every cell of the new organism. All of the hereditary illnesses are a result of mutations. In Brazil, there was a case of a brother and sister getting married about 50 years ago. Their children all seemed to be fine, but their grandchildren all inherited a mutation that destroyed all of their muscles by the age of 25, eventually killing all of them. Doctors know of 4,500 illnesses in man that are all consequences of genetic mutations, but no one has ever shown a single example of increased or improved information in the genetic code as a result of a genetic mutation.